What's up friends, my name is Alex, this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks, and today I'm going to be trying author's coffee orders. If you've been following my channel since 2019, that year I made a video where I tried author's coffee orders but it has now been privated. Last week I was on stream and we were talking about coffee and I talked about that video and decided to bring it back. I went over to Instagram and Twitter, I sent some DMs out to my favorite authors and I got three replies and three drinks. I'm going to taste and review their coffee orders and I will give it a coffee bean out of five rating. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you are a tea or coffee drinker and your order and maybe you will be featured in a future video. Let's get into the drinks because the ice is melting. <laughs> the first coffee order is Ash Van Otterloo, the author of Caddy Wampus, one of my favorite books of last year. And stay till the end for an unboxing because they sent me an arc of their newest book. I am so excited to try theirs. These are all from Starbucks. This is a Grande Sweet Cream Cold Brew. I love cold brew, so I'm very excited to try this. That's good. I really like that. I get a caramel iced coffee or a vanilla iced coffee when I go out somewhere. I prefer it cold, especially in the middle of the summer when it's really hot out. Today is like in the 90s, it's really hot. It's very light and you can taste the vanilla, but this is definitely something that I would get again and will probably continue drinking throughout the day. This is really good. I love cold brew. I love any coffee with cream and sugar and I love vanilla. This is awesome and I highly recommend to try it. I'm gonna give this a five out of five cold, cold brews, no. For this, I am rating it a five out of five coffee beans. It is so good. I love it so much. And this is gonna be my go-to drink for the rest of the summer. Next is Cameron Garrett. And I was so excited that she answered me with her coffee order. She gets a cold iced chai tea latte with no fat milk. I really like getting chai tea as well. So I feel like I'm going to like this. I've never had a preference when it comes to milks, but from my last video that I did this, I started experimenting with more soy and just milk that isn't 2%. And I really enjoyed my coffee with that so I feel like I'm gonna enjoy this. Dude that is so good. I just love a chai tea latte like they're so good. The non-fat milk really complements this drink and I really love it and now I'm excited because I have a lot of coffees that I'll be able to drink today and it is three o'clock. <laughs> I think that this is another five out of five coffee beans. This is amazing. I really love this and it's great. And I'm going to write it down for next time. I really love this video idea because I just get introduced to new coffee orders that I wouldn't try before. So now I have two that I would definitely try and saving the hottest drink for last is Ashley Woodfolk with The London Fog. Ashley is one of my favorite authors. Whenever I get a chance to talk about her in a video, I do. So you know I was going to take the opportunity to try and get her into this video. So thank you so much to all of these authors for answering me. I really appreciated it. I'm a tea and a coffee person so tea does doesn't disgust me at all. The only time I drink tea is usually if I'm anxious or if I'm writing. I always have to have tea when I'm writing. So this is a London Fog. I've never tried it before. So let's see. It's still hot and that's really good. I love that. If I were at Starbucks in the morning, this is definitely something I would get if I was sitting there and writing, doing some work. I would definitely get this. It is so good. Am I am I giving out another five? Am I just biased? No, I, I don't know, I like it. Should I have drank water in between this? Probably. That That's probably a good idea because now all the flavors are probably like all in my mouth. I love this. It is so good. This is definitely a tea that I would get in public. I never order tea when I'm out. I always order coffee. If you're a tea person, I would highly recommend Sips By. I tried them and I have so many great teas from them. I have a referral link down below if you would like to try them. Just like her books, Ashley Woodfolk does not disappoint and I am giving out another five out of five coffee beans. This is awesome and definitely something that I would pick up in the morning, especially like a rainy morning. That's what it feels like. I really like the cream part 
it feels like there's some vanilla in there and this is just a really nice tea that I would definitely get on a rainy day. So I really enjoyed this. So that was trying author's coffee orders. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for new bookish content every Monday and Saturday. I really enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments and if you were a tea or a coffee drinker, let me know your coffee order for a future video. Thank you to all the authors who answered me. I really had fun with this video and now I'm going to do a small unboxing. It was perfect timing that I got this in the mail today because Ash of Han Otterloo sent me their newest book. This book is really bad. Here is A Touch of Ruckus by Ash Van Otterloo. They are a middle grade author. I really loved Caddy Wampus and to show their appreciation for my reviews and just how much I talk about that book on my channel, they wanted to send me their newest book. Thank you so much to Ash for sending me their book. I am so excited to read this. I loved Caddy Wampus so much and I'll have everyone's links down below, including a pre-order link to this book if you would like to pick it up and to Caddy Wampus and everything else. Thank you all for watching. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support my channel further. We have a discord where we do game night and we also do watch parties every month. So definitely go over there if you would like to become a part of the Paperback Pal community. That's it for me today. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and I will see you on Monday. Bye.